<laughs> Hello. <laughs> Good morning, Ephraim. My name's Ethan. And I'm Sam. And you know what today is? It's T-Post Tuesday, y'all. Papers and money can be returned to Dr. Gambler at room 2418 at any time. The sale will run through the 25th to get those donations and get your money in today. Juniors and seniors, this Wednesday we will hold ticket sales for prom in the morning from 7 to 7.20 a.m. This time is set aside to accommodate students who cannot make it after school due to commitments such as attending CTC. Reminder, ticket sales will be held this week after school on Wednesday and Thursday beginning at 2.45 p.m. Jeremy Bischoff and I will be there right after school to get our tickets. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> now we're to the news. <laughs> <laughs> this episode's a mess. Oh, yeah. I'm a mess, Ethan. Donald Trump is set to meet with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe this week before coming before a coming meeting with North Korean officials. The Japanese goal of the meeting are to reportedly are reportedly to guarantee continued U.S. military presence in Eastern Asia to counteract threats from China and North Korea, as well as to attempt to gain exemption from the controversial steel and aluminum tariffs the Trump administration recently passed. It is the hope of the U.S. that they will be able to use um, U.S. Japanese military commitment against. North Korea in their coming meeting, in hope to secure a renewed sense of military alliance. On this day in history, the infamous Bay of Pigs invasion begins during the Kennedy administration when a group of CIA-financed and trained group of Cuban refugees were sent to overthrow the communist government of Fidel Castro. However, most of these rebels were either killed or captured, and the invasion was a huge loss to both the Kennedy administration and America in the Cold War. In Latin America, communist Castro was seen as a hero, while John F. Kennedy was seen as an immature and experienced leader. Now back to the main desk with lunch. <coughs> Didn't see you there. Today we have uh, some cheesy chili nachos. Breaded chicken patty on a whole grain roll. Papa John's pizza. A crispy chicken wrap. Fruit and yogurt <laughs> with muffin. Buffalo chicken salad. Sweet potato fries. Three pepper strips and dip. Tex-Mex bean salad. Assorted fresh fruit. Or oh, that's slushy. Now over to uh, A double G with the sports. <coughs> How do you dab with the tea pose? You don't? You got a friend. Yeah, you got a friend. <laughs> then come up with like the other arm, I guess. Can we, oh. can we weave? Can we weave? Can you, uh, like that? Uh, In sports resorts, <laughs> boys lacrosse beat. Lancaster Catholic 10 to 4. Volleyball beat Wyoming missing 3 to 1. Girls lacrosse lost to Lancaster Catholic. Today in sports, tennis plays against Hempfield at home. Volleyball is home versus Lancaster Men Night. Baseball is away at Penn Manor and softball is away at Garden Spot. Now over to the main desk. Every day, perfectly good food is being wasted in the school cafeteria, but there is a solution. One problem is that people don't know about the Share Center. You know, the fridge in the cafe <laughs> by the food lines. But Mrs. Berkey's culinary classes are working hard to solve this problem. But they need your help. If you want, uh, <laughs> if you know what can be shared, try to use it more often. And uh, you, if you're not sure, ask around or help someone who hasn't used it. It only takes a few seconds to keep your unwanted charitable items from ending up in a landfill. Stay tuned for more updates on the Share Center and look out for, more, for items that are shareable. <laughs> Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy Bischoff isn't shareable though, he's mine. <laughs> Give it a try. Not really! <laughs> uh, that was written by Seth. Oh, yeah, uh, I confess. 
we are we followed Mr. Bischoff, so we want to thank you for all the efforts. All the people called in. Uh, we appreciate it as the FAM family. Uh, and with that, have a, a great day, y'all. <laughs> I was just laughing myself because when, when he said, Why am I missing? I thought of a whole other strip. Why are you found? <laughs> <laughs> like I want you to die. Like, why do we talk to you? <laughs> no, no, my mom tells me the same thing every day. Oh, no, I never had three. I, I accidentally ended up with three street tests. Yeah, one was with Anthony. Yeah, one was with Anthony. I'll get it. One day, I'll go in to the show. I'll show up around and be like, I'm going to hang on this not funny. Yeah, I think we're starting to have a select audience that thinks we're going to be funny. I think it's really good. It's only our cult following. At least for our cult final.